Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. What do I got here? A nice little trade setup that is posted in the Discord. If you guys want to join, it is free right now. Not that one. Uh, this one right here. Where, you know, we give you entry, exit, risk management. Hey, it's just money. You can lose it all. It's magic internet money. Let's have some fun today. Let's take a look at these charts. And why am I taking this trade? Well, a couple of reasons here. Well, uh, partially, and again, what I use to chart um, is Binance, where the most volume is. And I've noticed since they launched the Ethereum futures, well, things are absolutely getting smashed to the downside and the upside, a lot more volatility in Ethereum. And what this is, is the classic M formation. And well, the more aggressive traders are going to take a trade right here where I did um, off the second peak. So what does an M look like guys? Boom, boom, lower high, and then just a closure below the middle peak. And shout out to Annie at Crypto Banter, awesome show. Um, she's the one who really kind of pointed this out to me and I've just been loving it um, because it works like a charm. And um, you know, you risk a little bit to, um, and typically, I mean, you could put your stop right above those wicks, but closure below here gives you the confirmation. If you're a little more conservative, you sell the, uh, the lower high, which is that guy. And that would complete your M something like that. But a lot of times it just goes right down like that. And so you want to see one of these high volume nodes right here or vector candles or whatever you want to call them. You want to see a pink or a blue or a red with a wick at the top showing us that, that, um, a lot of volume came in and people went long here and the market maker went short, right? Cause on the other side of every long, there is a short, um, following up on yesterday's tidbit on BSV, which, um, I am still holding that position. Well, um, did we get the breakdown to the downside? I'm going to take this off. Don't need any bots on this one. And I'm going to put it on a little bit of a higher time frame and kind of just get my little bearings back. Now, this one is shaping up to be a little more dangerous. Um, well, this is the first cross on the hourly time frame back to the downside. And we were targeting a move, uh, I believe, to this, this guy right here. And it depends on how you drew it yesterday, but a um, bit of an ascending triangle or descending triangle, or yeah, it's an ascending triangle, which technically speaking is more likely to break out to the upside. Got a quite a bit of few of uh, points of confluence there. Gosh, I can barely speak this morning. Ben, uh, wee bit of hours of sleep here and yeah the measure move coming all the way down here but my theory on this one is this is a poop coin and um what do poop coins do well if bitcoin gets shafted all the way de back down does a full retrace on all the gains from that pump over the weekend if you didn't notice uh sunday is when the pump happened sunday at about I don't know, three, four, 5 p.m., something like that. But the way these measure out, 50% full, and that would be a clear break. Here's the potential next lower high in the making. And uh, yeah, still in play. And uh, well, this one uh, has worked out quite, quite well. Uh, so far, so good. As, uh, let's see, in the Discord, where did we enter in on that one? I've been taking profits on this one for a long time. So was it here? Was it in the chat? We had a nice little Zoom call yesterday too. I hope you guys are on the lookout for that. Um, 
great time to get some coaching, talk to somebody, a uh, real live person who has a little experience, you know, again, take it with a grain of salt, guys. Uh, investing in crypto is the wild, wild west, right? So you can make a lot, you can lose a lot, especially if you don't know what you're doing. That's why we have a course now called Crypt Courses. There's a link in the description below. You can uh, join it um, for 30 days for free right now. I hope everybody joins and we see you in there. So I'm going to get into, again, I spoke about this trade yesterday. I wish I still had it drawn out. Maybe I have it drawn out on this chart. Nope. Not so lucky today. Not so lucky, but uh, essentially, look at this. Getting everybody all bullish. The uh, bullish retracement right up to the 618 gets rejected. Silver cross. And if the momentum crosses back to the downside from the critical zone as we are getting some well, declining volume now. Uh, what we want to see is volume pick back up. So there is still threat here. There is still a threat that potentially uh, some hidden bullish divergence coming back from this low right here. One, I mean, two, three, all these are going to be lower lows. Let me, let me just put on my other chart with the RSI. And this would look good for a rejection out of the bullish control zone. We have now lost the exponential moving average. And we did put in a lower high and declining volatility on the 15-minute time frame. Again, could this count for an M? Potentially, yes. High volume. Uh, we did not close above the wick. So, you know, that's okay too as for an M formation. And uh, short term, looking for this one to come down back here. But... I'm looking for the full retrace overall. Why is that again? Bitcoin, you know, I, unless something dram dramatically changed about BSV coin that I don't know about, right? That like I haven't heard other than like the founder did something wrong again um, or somebody quit the team or something bad happened. I, I forgot exactly what it was, but yeah, this, this is actually what you want to see is the node. Oh, this is Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin showing Bitcoin a little bit of weakness. And here's a little bit concerning, uh, a little bit concerning uh, because we are now in the U.S. market session and we did have the dead gap, which coming up to get people stopped out. People probably shorted right here. It wicked back up one more time. Yep, this is looking good for some downside. Looking good for some short-term downside alongside the stock market, which the NASDAQ, we did say, hey, that rally was probably going to get faded. I think personally, we're going to come in here and actually fill the gap. As I mentioned in days prior, you can see some volume pouring in on this candle right now. Volatility is beginning to max out on the 15-minute time frame. Let's check out the hourly. Still has room to go and bit of a bearish signal as volatility increases and stochastics are continuing to the downside. That, um, you know, unless we get a trap here with a higher low. No, this is lower highs and lower lows on a closing basis so far. So hourly downtrend, not bad, not bad. Uh, how about the daily? How about the daily? So a bit of a snake eyes pattern, reversal pattern, um, you know, so it's, it's hard to call. I think everybody on the interwebs is looking for a bounce. Everybody was saying stocks are going to bounce. Oh, stocks are going to bounce. Well, as we mentioned yesterday, we said, look, head and shoulders initiated for the S&P and boom, down to the downside. I don't know what people are thinking on the interwebs. Like, I, I, I could be crazy. I could be wrong. I could totally be wrong. I'm not right very often, in fact. Uh, but when two-year yields are above 5%, the 10 years at 47 they're calling this the parabolic blow off top. It can't go any higher. It can't go any higher. Oh my gosh. Well, one thing is one thing. Let the trend be your friend of the end of the trend. End of the trend. Uh, everybody else also talking about this nine count, uh, like on, on uh, the nine count, whatever. The TD sequential. An indicator I really don't use, but apparently after nine weeks of up for Dixie, it must go down. It must go down. And I would say, how many weeks is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, statistically, statistically, 
um, statistically, what's, yeah, what, you know, is likely to happen on the night? I'm just going to pull out the TD sequential here. Let's see if I got it here. Nope. It's one of my old charts. Nope. Let's see, nine, two, maybe, number two. Nope, I think I deleted that old chart. Nope. Um, I can't even find my TD sequential. Can't do it. Is that it? Nope. Cannot get it in there. Sorry, guys, not today. Uh, but I, I will I will just throw it on there. Why not just add it? Okay, here we go. I'm going to wrap this up here soon as uh, potentially what is happening on Dixie as it is coming down. Well, let's check a look. Let's check a look. Let's take a look at the economic data uh, potentially coming out here. Economic data potentially coming out. Oh, yes, we just want to see one more lower high on that Ethereum trade, and it is going to look pretty for a good start of the day. So news came out bullish for the dollar today. Bullish for the dollar. Yeah. <clears throat> so, again, simple, green, right? So expectation, 313. Imports were 314. Uh, jobless claims 210 came in lower than expected. 209, 208. I mean, we're talking about slight numbers, but apparently people care about it, right? And uh, the job numbers, the Fed Mester speech today, I wonder what that's going to be about. I wonder what that is going to be about. Okay, uh, jumping in back to Dixie. So if, and again, our, our question here is, well, if that was bullish to the dollar, why? Why is she going higher or lower at the moment? Maybe trap some more people uh, that, uh, well, could we call that an M? Let's see. Let's see on the hourly, what do we have here? So it looks like it does want to test the purple 200. Um, and I'm going to stick with my bias here that uh, as long as the dollar is making higher lows <coughs> above this green box on the daily time frame, um, you know, we are still going to expect the target to get hit. We did hit the 0.5. The 6.18 is up here. Again, I, I suspect, and I've said over the past couple of weeks here, as long as we're being governed by the 9 exponential, uh, then, well, likely to... Uh, and you do have the bearish divergence right there. You do have some bearish divergence. So price is making higher highs. RSI is making lower highs. Um, two drives gets you a shot to the 21, which would be this area right here. And, you know, could be just another higher low. And the stochastic, look, this this would kind of give it away, too, is if the stochastic starts to exit the uh, critical zone and doesn't cross back up today above 106.75, it's going to look good for the dollar bears. But two-day is still up there. Today is potentially putting in a decent sell signal. So maybe everybody's right and I'm wrong. Uh, medium term pullback is definitely in the cards. And after this week closes, today is Thursday, I think. If we just wick below the prior week low, that is going to look like a top. And that, you know, will mean shh, down. Um, do we have any more economic news coming out this week? Tomorrow, I think it's pretty bland. Well, uh, unemployment rate, non-farm payrolls, non-farm payrolls, and a Fed Waller speech. I don't know what that is, but I do have a calendar event. And this is exactly what I'm talking about on ETH and selling that lower high. Selling the lower high on <clears throat> on the five minute time frame as that is the area we were looking at this chart. So you got your M, boom, and you do have potential lower high here as momentum is still to the downside. We'll flip back up above 141.61. So um, 
you know, not fully convinced, but uh, a little more aggressive traders will enter there. And what you would want to see actually is this happen. <clears throat> you smash through the green 55, close below the middle uh, peak. So close them below here. And <clears throat> smash through that green 55, candle body closure below the middle peak. So, you know, here, here, boom. Coming back for uh, 1631. You might say, Chris, that's not a big move. It's not a big move. Well, half a percent, not a big move. No big deal. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave you with that. I wrapped up my thoughts on Bitcoin. Bitcoin did do the full retrace from the weekend price action. Again, I'm going to show it to you right here. This was the weekend trap. Broke out of it in the dead gap zone and uh, put in some bearish divergence. Again, very, very powerful way to trade using that RSI. We do have a complete video about that. Again, cryptcourses.com. Check it out right here. Super fun, super easy. Just click start. Hit free for 30 days. Create a username and password and you are in. And by the way, you don't even have to put in your credit card. So when you hit sign up, it's going to prompt you for that username and password. Don't just create your username and password and then don't put in your credit card unless you want to start paying $20 a month at the end of 30 days, which you can always message us if you don't want to do that. All right. Uh, I think that is it for today. Enough shilling, enough explanations and we are rejecting that bullish control zone on the 15 minute time frame another indicator that uh, perhaps the ethereum trade is going to play out and just by ticking below this low i would expect bitcoin to come down to the nine and let's see what ethereum looks like on the hourly time frame as well notice the death cross notice a this trend line did not has been playing flip flop flat jack kind of not really doing much um, for us here. But I think we're going to get that move to play. out. I was hoping it would play out right on stream here for you guys, but I got to go. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day. Whatever you touch prospers. Everything's going good in your life. You're undefeated more than an overcomer. And that's what makes life so good. All right. Take care.